Hey folks, CPM here. Welcome back to another video. And today, actually, we're going to go through another events product notice. Um, well, uh, about a week ago, I did a video like this. I wasn't expecting the Royal Canadian Mint to be so fast for another release of new set of coins. So, I mean, it's it's a good thing, right? Like it's us more opportunity to buy new and the greatest coins that they have to offer. Um, so hopefully this this video, just like the, the last one, we will have the ability to allow some of us to go there and buy some of these coins just when they are about to release. Um, the one thing that I didn't really talk about last time was um, the Master Masters Club program. Um, again, I'm probably not going to go into much details about that this time around, um, but just so you know, if you are part of the Masters Club program, you will get the product uh, notice in advance. Um, so without further ado, let's jump into what is new uh, as of this week. So as you can see on the screen here, we are looking at a couple of new coins. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight coins. So this is actually eight new coins. One of them we covered last time. So I'm not sure if it was a emailing error or somewhat of an error, um, mistake on the Royal Canadian Mint side. Typically, I would get a, a product notice on a Friday and immediately on the Monday after we'll see the coin to be launched. Uh, for some reason, the Pisanka coin that I talked about last time um, still hasn't been announced publicly yet. Um, so it's actually coming out on the coming Monday. So if you if you wanted to get your hands on it, I'm sorry to say that is already sold out. Um, I, the coin itself is extremely popular, just like I said in the last video. Um, but my prediction was there was going to be a gold coin. So in this case here, it does have one. So I'm, let's not look at the, the little picture here, the small pictures here. We're going to go through the email quickly. So the, the notice I got this morning, um, about 9 a.m., they are actually pretty punctual. Uh, Royal Canadian Mint opens at 9 o'clock uh, every single uh, business day. And I at 9 o'clock, I did, or well, 9 02, I, I did get the email. Um, so going through this, there's a lot of big, cool coins. Um, so there is going to be a, a new one kilogram pure silver coin, archival treasures from 1982, sorry, 19, 1912 heraldic design. Uh, so this is a, a kilogram silver. It's massive, uh, in honor of hundred year anniversary for arms Canada. Um, so the mint dug up a, an, a very old drawing and they pretty much superimposed that onto the new coin. Uh, this coin here is going to go for $2,699.95. I mean, I think the price is actually not too bad consider it's a collector's coin. Uh, the mintage itself is only 500. So I think this may go quick. Um, but let's keep going. Let's see what else is here. So there's going to be a one kilogram pure gold coin for the same coin that we just talked about. Uh, this one is going to be, there's only a minute of 40. So, uh, this one, you actually have to call in, um, uh, to make the purchase, uh, with, uh, just shy of $111,000. So one Oh five zero zero zero. So that's a lot of zeros. Uh, in there for a gold coin. Uh, it's a kilogram, so uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be hefty. Uh, what else is here? So last time we covered the silver coin Pisanka, uh, the one ounce silver coin. So if you haven't seen that video yet, go watch it. Um, so I'm not gonna go too long about this particular coin. Uh, my prediction that there was gonna be a gold one. So the gold coin here it is. It's launching on Monday, so if you want to get your hands on it, uh, I think this is a, a pretty beautifully designed coin. Uh, let's see. So this is a rooster in the picture. When I, at first glance, I thought it was like a phoenix or um, some kind of a big bird. Um, so rooster and phoenix, usually they are pretty synonymous. Um, 
symbols uh, symbolizes the fertility and re reawakening. Um, so, you know, <laughs> reawakening or rebirth. So this all kind of ties into like the Phoenix theme. So if you like, if you like this, uh, I actually really like this coin, except I can't really afford it. Um, there is only going to be how many of them? 250 of them. Uh, and it's going to cost you $7,399. So it's, again, not a cheap gold coin. Uh, I mean, any gold coin that came from the mint is never cheap. Uh, that's not uh, what I'm trying to say. Uh, it's definitely uh, a masterpiece from the look of it. And let's see, what else is here? I'm going to go through this pretty quickly because we're going to jump onto the site in just a little bit. Uh, the five ounce pure silver coin with a yellow and rose gold plating. So this one is the Maple Leaf in Motion series. So it, it done this a couple of times already, uh, just you know with, with different different designs. This one I really really like, and uh, if uh, opportunity comes, I am definitely gonna go and order myself one of these. So five ounce silver coin. So this is gonna be a pretty hefty coin as well. Um, the design is beautiful. It signifies the 25 years uh, of the Maple Leaf Privy Mark uh, that was first introduced onto the Maple Leaf Silver Coin. Um, so let's keep going. Uh, this one's gonna cost about 650 with a mintage of 1500. Again, this is actually a very low mintage for a Maple Leaf coin. So if you like Maple Leaf as much as I do, I would say. Go on there and buy it. Let's take a look at the next coin. We, I think we're coming into February. February is typically the Black History Month. Uh, so this year we have this silver coin. I think this is just a, a, a typical one ounce silver coin. That doesn't really say here. We'll, we'll take a look at that in, in a little bit. And there's a couple of different designs uh, that's worth mentioning here. Uh, we'll take a closer look when we get there. It's ninety nine ninety five uh, with a mintage of fifty five hundred. This is also a, a pretty, uh, I would say, an adequate mintage number. Um, so, if you're into uh, Black History Month and what it stands for, I think this is a, a pretty nifty coin to collect as well. Uh, the next product announcement here is the six coin specimen set uh, that um, I think it's. It's paying attention to the blendings turtle. Um, so this is a, a pretty cute coin. Um, the, the smiling, the smiling turtle. Uh, let's see, it's, it's going to be just about $60 vintage of 30,000. So I don't think this one's going to move that fast. So, you know, if you are gifting for anyone that's starting to collect coins, I think this is also one of a good gifting options. So let's see what's the next one. So the next one is uh, the quarter ounce pure silver coin moments to hold. If you follow my video a couple of videos ago, I did talk about the the theme for this year. There's a lot of hundred years uh, anniversary that's coming up uh, for this particular year. So the the arms of Canada uh, was one of the the ones that. Uh, that, that they want to put emphasis on. Last year, I think in 2020, we've already had some of the Arms of Canada type coins that came out. So they're kind of they're kind of continuing that trend into 2021. Officially, 2021 is the 100 years uh, Arms of Canada, uh, I guess, commemorative year. So there's going to be quite a bit of coins that are coming out. So this is actually a four coin. Uh, subscription series. So if I think this is the very first one, um, I think it's nicely designed, very symmetrical. So nothing, nothing really stand out. But again, this is a, uh, I think it's also a, a, a nice gifting uh, coin set as well. So I would say um, this is the very first of it. So twenty four ninety five for each of the coins that comes out mintage of a hundred thousand so this one again is going to be one of those coins that that will probably last for the entire year so i think you can take your time if you want to wait for a particular moment to to give this to your loved ones or your families um so completely up to you 
Oh, okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, let's flip over to the site. We're going to take a look at some of the coins uh, in closer detail. So uh, I want to take a look at the one kilograms, uh, but I'm going to save that for a little bit. I do want to jump into the five ounce pure silver coin um, for the maple leaf in motion. I want to take a closer look at this. Um, before we go there, <laughs> it's already it's already sold out. Um, or at least currently it's out of stock. It's awaiting for a new stock. Typically what this means is that if you really want to get your hands on this, you probably want to reach out to your local um, coin shop dealers or collectible dealers. Um, you know, put your orders in. They probably would be able to get uh, their hands on one of these. Um, my my experience has always been that if, if the mint site is showing that currently awaiting stock, chances are you're not going to get it uh, in the near future. So if you don't want to wait, go to your local shop uh, and then just order through them with them directly. Uh, great, granted that they are actually official dealers of Royal Canadian Mint. So watch out for that. Um, but this coin, uh, I really want to get my hands on. I haven't placed an order for this just yet. Uh, if you are if you're the lucky few who got an earlier uh, advanced product notice, you may have been able to um, purchase this one. Uh, if you had, um, it'll ship sometime mid February to late February. Um, so if you are one of those lucky ones, congratulations. Um, but I'm gonna find myself uh, this coin somewhere. Uh, so let's take a closer look. So if we take a look at this coin in general, you see there is this rose gold rim that r runs around it. And if we take a closer look, some of these areas uh, are interchanged with the yellow gold plating. So if we if we were to kind of look at this, the rose gold. So this bit here. Uh, it's the rose gold right? it comes in. I think it's just one shade. If not, it actually there's two shades of rose gold in here. And then we have the yellow gold plating. Uh, and then the maple leaf right in the middle, um, it's multifaceted. So if you, if you look at it, we have gold, yellow gold, rose gold, all kind of intertwined within the maple, the center maple leaf uh, on the coin. And behind it, what is, I'm kind of trying to look at what's behind as well. So the background is some sort of a, I think these are all maple leaf patterns too. Sometimes it can play tricks on your eyes. So it may not look the, the way that you want it to, it, it to kind of pop at you. But, you know, there was, it's just, it's, I think it's just a net, a very uh, repeating, pattern of maple leaves. Uh, let me know if you can see this. Um, it's hard, it's sometimes it's kind of hard to see depending on which part of the of the pattern that you're kind of looking at. Um, underneath here, there's another maple leaf um, with the 25 anniversary year uh, engraved into it. The lettering itself is in silver. Uh, so 2021 and as well as the, the word Canada up top. Um, so I th this is a very beautiful coin, and I think it's definitely worth our while if you are a collector. Um, I think this page kind of says it all. In 24 hours, there's already 390 views, uh, and considering there's only 1,500. So yeah, I think this one's going to go fast. Uh, if, I am, if I am a betting man by Monday, completely gone. Um, the back of the coin so the oversight is our queen's effigy uh queen elizabeth herself um the background pattern remains the same the queen herself is gold plated uh and then again the rim is rose gold uh and then again it has the same maple leaf patterns in the background i really wanted to s let's figure out let's see if there's any other mentions of uh the background design uh, the third picture here is the the box that it came in. So this is definitely one of the better looking boxes that they have. Um, I've always wanted uh, for anything that's 
I would say on the more on the more expensive side, they they gotta get rid of those black uh, glamour shell or clamshell glamour box that they that typically use. Um, I think having a, a wooden or a, a very shiny finish definitely brings out the the quality uh, and the value uh, that shows the value of the coin. Um, so if we roll down here, let's take a quick look. So some of the features, our first dual plated multifaceted design. Uh, so for the very first time, the plating combination yellow and rose gold over a multifaceted surface. Yeah, I, I would say they're not really lying here. It's not a marketing gimmick. Uh, there is definitely multicolor plating on one coin. Typically it's a single color, uh, but having, you know, yellow and rose gold, this definitely adds that additional layer of, uh, I would say engineering complexity to the coin. Uh, I would, I would think that the, the, the plating probably takes two stages, one for the gold one and one, sorry, the yellow gold, and then the, uh, another stage for the, the rose gold. Uh, this one's kicking off a celebration. Uh, this five ounce pure silver coin is the first of several 2021 coin that's celebrating 25th anniversary of Canada's national arboreal emblem. Uh, the special 25 maple leaf privy mark marks the occasion on your coins reverse and on several more coins uh, in our 2021 collection. So interesting. So this is going to be many of these five ounce uh, silver coins that's coming out. Um, again, super awesome, which means that I am going to burn a hole in my pocket. <laughs> uh, progress in motion. Uh, see what is this here? I think I don't know why they are talking about this one. So the 2021 installment of Maple Leaf in Motion series features just one leaf, but in many engraved facets, forms, peaks, and valleys that plate with lights. The effect is heightened by contrasting plating, resulting in a dazzling color effect that invites repeated repeat viewing. So okay, so that might explain why when I first looked at the the rose gold plating it could be it might just be one color but depending on the lighting you may get multiple colors in one um let's see what else is here the selective plating on the overs as well so uh, we we talked about this one already uh the previous coin sold out quickly uh i i think that's yeah that's uh that's a given um, the maple leaf in the middle is actually called the sugar maple leaf. Uh, it's the focal point of this design by Canadian artist Matt Egink uh, against a laser engraved relief pattern. So the relief pattern is, I think, is what's in the background. The maple leaf is multifaceted, uh, multi engraved, multiple engraved faceted are individually fa uh, plated with uh, either yellow or rose gold for high contrast and visual appeal. So my guess was right like it, it takes multiple runs to get all the plating onto a single coin so it's not a you know one pass and the, the coins is ready to go um let's see what else is here yeah so special arboreal anniversary it was 25 years ago in 1996 that the maple tree was officially recognized as Canada's national arboreal emblem. The anniversary of this famous Canadian symbol is one of our big theme in 2021 and on multiple coins, including this one. It is represented by a special 25 maple leaf privy mark. So this one, uh, I think it just, you know, reinstating that it's going to be coins that will sell out pretty, pretty fast for anyone who is into maple leaf coins like myself. Uh, okay, so I think that's that. Let's go back to the previous page. Uh, let's jump into the gold Pisanka coin. So the gold Pisanka coin, like we said before, uh, with a low mintage of just 250 <laughs> and look at it here, it's already 73% sold. Again, this one is gonna sold out really, really quickly. If we scroll down here a little bit, the Pisanka is already sold out. Uh, and if you really want to get your hands on it, you, you can probably get it from your local coin shop dealers and, um, and obviously the official dealers from Royal Canadian Mint. I'm sure they can, uh, if you place your order, you can, you can definitely get it there. 
Uh, let's take a quick look. Let's see what the gold coin details are. Uh, again, this is the, the rooster design. Uh, it's very, very beautiful. Um, so you can see the repeated patterns around the rim. Going all the way around. And you can see the uh, the rooster. I keep thinking it's a peacock um, just because how beautiful this is. Uh, or it, it could be a phoenix. However you want to how you, however you want to look at this piece. Um, so you can see the the flowery patterns on the tail uh, for the feather. Um, it's very, very intricate as well. So the the design itself looks like it's done in a matte finish and with the background of a polished uh, yellow gold. Um, let's see what else is here. And the the queen's effigy at the back, again with this um, the spiraling pattern, uh, which kind of coincides with the the design in the front. Very very beautiful. Uh, I hope, I really hope it doesn't come in this box, consider how expensive this gold coin is. Um, but, but if it is, and, and if any Royal Canadian Mint uh, employees are watching this video, and I, I really hope that the Glamour box could be a, a, an upgrade, consider how expensive this coin is. Uh, again, that's just my opinion, take it or leave it. Uh, let's see, how much gold is in this? Uh, so it's not a little bit. So 58.5, so 31, 31 gram for an ounce. So this one is almost two gram, sorry, it's two troy ounces of gold. Um, so two troy ounces of gold. Yeah, I would say the price justifies for it. If you're, if you're looking at like the market cost for a, a, a bullion gold coin for an ounce, so it's close to two ounce, you're probably looking at like, five thousand uh, uh, dollars give or take and then since this is a collector item you know, tack on another two thousand dollars it's not too far off and i think it's the, the price is justified um i'm not gonna go into too much of this i think how beautiful it is uh this is another one of the eastern european celebration for the spring the season of spring uh, and their their Easter egg, where people have the tradition to paint the eggs. Um, so beautiful, beautiful coin. If I am, uh, if my pocket is deep enough that I don't have to worry about money, uh, yeah, man, I, I will I will jump onto this coin like there's no tomorrow. Okay, let's jump back to the previous page to see what else is here for us to look at. Uh, we look at the Pisanka coin last time already, so I'm not going to go into that. Um, then we have the Black History Month. I think this one is worth looking at just because of the, the intricate details on the coin itself. Uh, before we jump into that, I just want to see how, how what's the weight of this coin. So 31.339. So this is a one troy ounce pure silver coin. Um, so looking at this here, uh, and then we have the the dancing lion with the sword. Actually, that's not a sword. I think that's an anchor uh, in in its hands. And then we have the crown kind of sitting at its neck. So that's very man. The details is immense. Um, so we have another lion here that does the same thing. And then we have this crest in the middle uh, with two crowns on either side, so actually three crowns on each edge of the crest. And then we have this, uh, I don't, what is this called? Like a steering wheel from the boat. Uh, the name kind of just escaped me. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then it's standing on a rock with some plants around this. And there's a message in here. The heart of your knowledge is in your roots. Very beautiful, and then we have this uh, this string of maple leaves on the side, on either side of the coin. Uh, $20, 20 dollars, twenty Canadian dollars, and then we have this banner up top for Canada. 
Uh, let's see what else is special about this. Actually, oh, let's look at the oversight of the coin for Queen Elizabeth. Uh, so the background is frosted with maple leaf, uh, maple leaves. Uh, so <laughs> again, I anything with maple leaves always catches my attention. I, I love this. It's uh, it's beautiful. There's definitely also there's also a bit of a gradient uh, to the maple leaf. You know, light on the top and then darker shade of gray at the bottom beautiful beautiful and this one is to honor the legacy of the black loyalists uh let's see so it kind of goes back to the war of american independence thousands of black loyalists some free some indentured and some are still enslaved came to british north america and put down roots in present-day canada but the hardship they endure are a reminder of how complex our history can be. Their triumph and tri tribulations are a fundamental part of Canada's story that should be honored and remembered as they are in as they are on this pure silver coin, which feature an armorial bearing of Black Lawless Heritage Society. Let's see, special features here we have Okay, so yeah, Black History Month for the Black Canadians. Uh, let's see. So it's commemorating uh, Black Lotus that settles in Canada in late 18th centuries. Symbols, a symbol of the past and present. The armorial bearing of the Black Lotus Heritage Society honors the trailblazers of the past and those who safeguard their memory today. Subtle field patterns, a symbol of Canada, maple leaf adds a symbolic flourish to the reverse and the form of the repeated pattern on the overse. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think, yeah, I think this is, again, another beautiful design coin. So there's only 15, 55 hundreds of it. So again, I think this one, I don't know if it will, it will be... Uh, a hot commodity but I think chances are it, it's gonna be okay let's go back and see what else is there um, I'm kind of like all over the place and I <clears throat> I apologize for it so the last one I'm gonna go through will be the one kilo uh, gold coin so this one will kind of help us wrap up for the day um, I'm not gonna go through the the silver consider I think the designs are exactly the same the weight is exactly the same the only difference here is the price tag so the, the gold uh, is hundred and five thousand dollars if you have the money give them a call phone number is listed here I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother um, all right let's go in and take a look at this the there I don't know what else to say to it there's just so much going on on, on, the, on this gold coin vintage of 40 uh, so if you have the money go for it um, if you are a Masters Club member, and if you do purchase this coin from their site, you're going to immediately get a million points, which probably translates to, I would say, $1,000 if you want to redeem it for future product, which is not a lot. So anyways, uh, that's just something that's, uh, that's kind of interesting. So the front, um, so the reverse side looks like this. The over side looks like this with our Queen's Effigy with... $2,500 uh, Canadian dollars. So this is going to be, I'm surprised it's not a million dollar. Actually, it won't, it can't, it can't be. If it's, if it's a million dollar, this coin is probably going to go for like at least $10 million uh, on the market. So we have, we have this maple leaf tree with acorn looking design like a shroud around the top of the coin. Uh, oh my goodness, there's so much patterns going on. Like if you look at the interior design of the coin, we have uh, circle, the circles and circles and circles of uh, this fancy design patterns. Uh, and then our majesty right in the middle of it. And then we have this ribbon that cuts across from the bottom half of the coin, or bottom fifth of the coin, right? And then underneath that, then we have these beautiful designs along the edge as well. All right, let's flip over to the other side 
so on the reverse side, we have again the same uh, plant up top. I'm sure there's 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 a particular design. I think this is a herald heraldic design. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. We haven't even gone into the into the features yet. So maybe without embarrassing myself too much, I'm gonna just take a look at the features. So uh, plunked plucked from the National Archives, a pen and an ink drawing from the 1912 is now a limited edition of work of finely engraved art. Uh, the, ornate, the ornate details of the original concept been painstakingly, painstakingly recreated and adopted to fill both sides of this pure gold kilo coin. Luminous. Yeah, that's such a nice word. There is a timeless quality to the reverse, and yes, and yet it is elegant design predate the arms created for Canada a century ago. So again, this is, remember the, the arms of Canada? Um, this is another commemoration of that. So we have the arms of Canada right in the middle of it. Um, if we look at the zoom in picture, you can see a lot of stuff. We have the maple leaves, we have the boat. I think that probably signifies the the migration from the European countries over here. And then we have the lions with wings and we have fish, big fish. Uh, yeah, so this is our typical arms of, um, arms of Canada. And I think we have all these uh, arms of Canada crest that surrounds it as well. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so let's see. From the archive, in honor of the 100th anniversary of the Arms of Canada, uh, based on the historical art. So, Arms of Dominion of Canada. Okay. Just kind of quickly glance through here, see what it is. Rich in symbolism. Doesn't really t tell much about the design. Okay, so here we go. So the design, the reverse feature and an engraved rendering of heraldic art concepts uh, that predates the arms of Canada, proclaimed in 1921. Based on the drawing by Joseph Ubi, the design centers on the quarter shield emblem of the Dominion of Canada and feature a circular arrangement of the nine provincial coats of arm in use in 1912. So, okay, so that's pretty cool. So the the crest that you see around the circle here are the nine provinces. So, so I guess back in 1912, there's only nine provinces within Canada. Uh, and the provinces are Ontario, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, Alberta, Saskatchewan, British Columbia, Manitoba, New Brunswick, and Quebec. Um, the composition is surmounted by a stylized world crown surrounded by symbols of Canada. France and the United Kingdom. So that makes perfect sense. Uh, as well as a banner scroll that seemingly continue on the overside. Uh, a garland of emblems also appears on the overse, which features the effigy of her, uh, her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II by Susanna Blunt. All right, so this coin is uh, one kilogram, a little bit over a kilogram, diameter of 101 millimeter so that's gonna be about ew, 10 centimeters in diameter so that's actually gonna be pretty big um yeah what else to say about this all right so i'm i think this video is getting a little bit too long but if you do watch this um i'm hoping that you'll be able to catch this video before the the release of these coins into the general public um so again, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's been a long one. Uh, if there's any coins that I've shown here that is of your liking, you know, please definitely leave some comments uh, in the section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.